Jess, I love you. I'm proud of you, and I'm going to miss you. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for me, for everybody in the community, and just to help my growth. Never once have you hindered it, only helped. If I felt like I was on the wrong path, somehow you just knew that. You texted me lunch. You want to do this, you want to do that. Even when I would just straight up not want to do it, I still just brought myself to text you back and say, yeah, let's do it. Because I knew that being with you was only going to make me feel better, only going to make me feel better for the time and in the long run. It's going to teach me a lesson. And that's something you've done for me for so long that no father figure, brother, or anyone really could do for me. It's going to be hard to watch you go. Probably harder than watching Dylan and Jake go. Because the times I had to cry over a stupid girl <laughs> that shouldn't have meant as much as she did. And all the times I acted out because of that, because of home stuff, because of anything. Instead of pushing me away for being me, you reeled me right in and showed me that if I'm if I wanted to be loved, there was love everywhere. Everywhere around me, I just had to find it. Taught me how to love myself, which is something I never thought I would do. Taught me how to love other people. And for that, I say thank you. And for everything you've done, I say thank you. And I know the community and everyone you've impacted is going to miss you so much. But at the same time, they're very proud. And I know that I'm super proud because all you ever been is proud of me. And now I get to be proud of you. And it makes me really happy to know that not only is the rest of the world gonna get to enjoy Jeff, but people get to see who you are and how awesome you are and how many people you've impacted from this little town of Sharon, Hermitage, Farrell, Sharksville. Shoot, Greenville kids, people, have even they even know who you are. You leave a huge impact and you've left something for people to build on. And I appreciate that. Still know where to get the best sweet tea, so there's no argument there. And we got to go ahead and get some Skittles and chocolate milk just one more time before you get up out of here. I love you, Jeff, and I always will. Hey, Jeff. Um, I just want to say uh, I wish you the best of luck in everything that you're trying to do. Um, I also want to say that uh, I do love you. I care about you. And uh, I'm happy to see that you are pursuing that uh, your dreams. Um, I do wanna also want to say thank you. Uh, for everything that you've done for me. Uh, you've been one of the biggest uh, positive impacts in my life, and I would not be where I am today if it was not for you and your help and all of your guidance. All right, man. Um, hopefully, I get to see you soon, um, but just remember that I love and care about you. Jeff Hefe, Jeff Fafa. Oh, man, I'm going to I'm gonna miss you. From uh, seeing you in church to running to you at the gym, Playing softball together, watching you run like a friggin' gazelle, covering ground like you're moving in slow motion. Um, it'll be it'll be different. Not seeing you around, that's for sure. But I know you got a a bigger plan, and um, I know you'll come back and visit for sure. We you know can always do like a celeb shot for you. You know, and just throw you in the lineup. No big deal. But uh, I I do wish you the best. I know we'll all keep in touch. Everything like that um, it will be in my prayers. I hope you travel safe while you go down there, um, whatever means that you take to get down there. Um, you'll be greatly missed by not just me, by everybody, that's for sure. You were probably the most um, outgoing person I've ever met. So nice and friendly. You don't judge by any means necessary. You were very, very uh, welcoming, which is it's an awesome trait to have. Um can't say it enough, but uh, I'll miss you. We'll miss you. 
and I hope to see you again soon. All right, brother. Love you. Hey, Jack, we hope you have a ball at school. Hey, Jeff, just want to say thank you, man, for uh, your faithful service to this community for so long. Sharon uh, will never be the same because of the way that you have gone and loved kids and loved families. And I know Penn West Young Life is going to miss you like crazy, man. So we're praying for you on your next journey and pray that maybe one day you'll come back here. Hey Jeff, congratulations on going to seminary. I am so excited to see what the Lord is gonna do in you and through you through this experience. You are already one of the most amazing Bible teachers and communicators of truth that I've heard um, and gotten to know. So I know that seminary is gonna just be incredible for you. I'm excited for you to learn um, and to teach and to help people grow closer to the Lord. So congratulations. What up, fam? Um, I am so thankful for the ways that God has used you in my life and in so many people's lives. Here are five things I'm grateful for. One, um, you speak the truth even when it's hard. Two, you love God's word and always are seeking to better understand it and its implications for our lives. Um, three, you have taught me so much about humility and the way that you've modeled making much of Christ and making less of yourself, making yourself small um, has been so helpful and encouraging to me. Um, four, I love the way that you love God's church and you pursue the lost. Um, you've been so faithful walking alongside people. Finally, thanks for teaching me how to swing a bat. Um, I'm so excited to see what God has in store for you in seminary. Bye. I want to say thank you, Jeff, not for introducing me to so many awesome people or all the great summers we had together, but for being such a great role model to me. You showed me a person I could truly strive to be someday, somebody just so awesome that everybody around me is just always happy just by being who you are. And now I can wake up every day and just try to be a better person because of you and seeing how you are. So I do want to say I am truly thankful and appreciative to everything you have done for me. Thank you, Jeff. Hey, hey Jeff. Yeah. Um, just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the wisdom you shared and I appreciate everything you've done. And also, sorry, I said it wasn't Leah when you called me the one time because I was scared of a creepy man knowing my name on the phone. <laughs> okay. uh, thank you, Jeff, for just pouring into me so much over these past however many years. Uh, and just thank you for being able to... Um, just being there for me in serious times, but also less serious times, like playing football in Catan. I'm really going to miss that a lot, going over to your house and just playing good music and um, Catan, just enjoying life with you. You're awesome, man. Have fun in St. Louis. Good luck. <laughs> Hey Jeff, I hope you're doing well. Um, I really miss you and I just wanted to say thanks for all you've done in the sharing community. They're really going to miss you out there and it's just been really cool to see the impact that you've had on those kids over the years and you left a mark that no one's ever going to be able to forget. So good luck at seminary. Miss you. Hope you're doing well. Praying for you as you embark on this new journey. We love you. Yeah. Bye. What's up, Jeff? It's Matt. It's a beautiful day here in the Shenango Valley. Uh, can't say that often <laughs> this time of year. Uh, beautiful spring day. God's creation is great. Um, I was asked to say a few words here about your about you and softball. Um, what I remember most is the first few years you played in short, breaking the palm of my hand because I don't have an actual first baseman glove. Uh, the range, the diving. Uh, I remember the, the, the sleeveless shirt. Uh, with the with the short shorts and sliding in a second, popping the bag off, and then you just be absolutely covered in mud. Um, I remember the the diving catches in the outfield, the absolute can of an arm, throwing people out at home when they cross the the line of demarcation or whatever the heck it's actually called, um, the twenty foot line. Uh, the just the gazelle strides on the bases. I remember the absolute raw power on the left and the right uh, side of the plates. Uh, but quite honestly, Jeff, what I'm gonna remember most about you. And uh, what I appreciate most is just you as a person, uh, your willingness to talk to people, uh, make them feel welcome. Uh, I mean, coming up could be different from uh, North Carolina there. And uh, it was always it was always nice to be around you. You were always 
uh, a comforting voice and I know you weren't that just with me you that was everybody so I really do appreciate that uh, no matter what our talks at Walmart or talks uh, on the field just BSing about no matter what but uh, I thank you for that and I wish you nothing but the best of luck hey Jeff I am so excited and so pumped for you to go into seminary um, you are going to just thrive I think um, because you love God's word <laughs> And um, you also just serve so well. Um, you always serve people so wholeheartedly. And I think um, those two qualities are going to make um, such a great pastor. Um, and I know that um, God has called you to this for a reason and in this time, in this moment. Um, and he's going to reveal so many things I know um, over the course of... Um, your studies and um, beyond that, and when you um, become a pastor of your first church, um, he's going to bless um, you in so many ways, I know, and um, because of how he's going to work in you, he's going to impact, you're going to impact so many people, um, and I know you're going to present the gospel in such an authentic way, um, and you're going to create those really real relationships with people um, like you did at Covenant, and in Sharon with the boys and um you're just gonna care for people um because they're God's people um and you're gonna serve wholeheartedly I know um and give it your all um because that's who you are um in the Lord and I just have loved um witnessing how God has worked through you already um in ministry um and just doing ministry alongside you but i cannot wait for this next chapter um and i know you're ready and i know god has equipped you um so yeah it's gonna be awesome and um i can't wait um to see um what god reveals to you um and i'm gonna be praying for you and yeah see you jeff hey jeff um i want to say that i miss you a lot and i'm normally not one to get sad uh, over goodbyes, but I am going to be sad for you, so I want to say things in a letter so that I don't, like, break any tears, and a little mem memoir. <laughs> hey, Jeffy, I love you, man. I'm so thankful for our time in Young Life together. Your heart is incredible, and the way you love and run after Jesus truly changed my life. You were the perfect role model, not only for kids, but really for anyone who came in contact with you. You helped me grow and learn so much during my four years in Sharon uh, and challenged me to be selfless and sacrificial when it came to running after lost souls. I loved hanging out at your apartment, playing games, watching movies, and really making memories that I will never forget. I love you, Jeff, and you made a huge impact in my life, and I couldn't thank you enough. I wish you the best. Thank you to the guy that taught me to just show up. Your example will not be forgotten in the Shenango Valley. Love you, man. Jeffrey, you mean a lot to me, man. You've really done a lot for me. You're always there for me. You're definitely a big brother. Definitely somebody I needed in my life a lot. A lot of times when I felt like I didn't have nobody you were there. Your family welcomed me in with open arms. And it just felt so good, man. I'll definitely miss you, Jeff. Stay in contact. Because no matter what, you're always family. I love you, Jeff. Take 45 of Trying Not to Cry. Here we go. Jeff, thank you for all the love you've shown to my family. You know you will always be welcome and loved by us. I'll miss the pool days, softball games, and the many, many youth events. Those, and the days you kept Seth and I from killing each other. You've done so much for this community. You've changed hearts and grammar. We've started saying y'all. I'll miss you, but at least know that your succulent is safe with me. 
now that you won't be here to kill it. Good luck, Jeff. Good luck. Hey, Jeff. Rumor has it you're moving away from us soon. Um, and before you did, I, uh, I had a few things that I wanted to say to you. Um, first, that I really appreciate everything you've ever done for me. Nothing but kindness of your heart has came from you. Um, you've been there for me countless times. Um, never let me down. Always had someone to turn to whenever it came to you. Um, and second, I just wanted to really touch base on the fact that you're going to leave, for lack of better terms, a legacy. Um, big shoes to fill for someone else to come in because the impact that you have had on not just me, but the community is enormous. It has an extremely positive impact and it's hard to do, but you accomplished it. So from me and the community, thank you and we're really going to miss you, man. Jeff, thank you for loving on the Shenango Valley as if it were your home. We love you, brother. We're excited for your next endeavor. And thank you from the bottom of our heart, from Covenant and from the Shenango Valley, for having a humble servant's heart and for sharing the gospel with many, many hundreds, if not thousands of people while you were here. Love you, brother. Thank you for not only helping me grow in my faith, but as a person in general. And um, for always pushing me and encouraging me to be the best version of myself that I can possibly be. Jeff, you're probably one of the tallest and coolest people that I've ever met. Um, I'm super grateful for how you've impacted my life, even in smaller ways, like being there as I tried to get my overall super ass in basketball as I was throwing three-pointer after three-pointer because I couldn't do it, but um, eventually got it took forever um <laughs> being a work crew boss through summer's best and just being there throughout my young life experience because seeing how much it impacted my life makes me super grateful for um all of you guys who are willing to sacrifice time and energy just to get to know high schoolers and invest in them and it makes me super grateful for uh people like you and my experience couldn't have been the experience it has been without you, so I'm super excited for all that you do, and I promise I will try to be as tall as you one day. Hey, Jeff. Just wanted to thank you for all you've done here at Covenant and in the Shenango Valley. Uh, you've touched a lot of people's lives, touched a lot of kids' lives, and we're going to miss you, brother. i um, excited for you to go to seminary. We'll be praying for you that God uses you to do great things. I know he will, and... Uh, we're going to miss you. A lot of great memories. Um, hope you come back and visit often. Maybe we'll have to come down and see you at Boone at some point. All right, later, brother. Jeff! Jeff, hey, buddy. Hey, uh, we're, we're quarantined together. I'm growing a quarantine beard. Still not there. I'm working on it. Um, Jeff, we just wanted to take some time and say thank you for all that you have done for us, but specifically me, man. Thank you so much for the way you have just been such a good friend and encouragement to me. Um, especially these last four or five years since I've been in college. Man, you've been such a role model as a young life leader, as a friend, in the way that you've just loved me and the people around you. Um, has just been so good for me to see. Uh, thank you for all the times that we would meet up and drink coffee together and make a ton of eggs. Um, yeah, I mean, I just can't thank you enough for, for the endless conversations about sports, about the Atlanta Braves. Um, that was more you than me talking in those conversations. <laughs> Uh, about the times that we would talk about dead theologians who had good thoughts. Um, but yeah, man, I just, I just thank you for your friendship. Thank you for the way that you've walked with me and encouraged me, especially in the times that I, um, specifically senior year, were wrestling with doubts, man, and you just came alongside me and were such a comfort for me, and, and you helped me so much. Um, so yeah, man, I can't thank you enough for your friendship and what that has meant to me. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's hard to, it's hard for me to sum up, you know, seven or eight years of friendship but uh i remember when i was a freshman i thought you were the coolest young life leader um and just so the opportunity to to have gotten known you over the years man and, and be uh i really consider you one of my best friends and, and uh it's hard to, to put that to sum that up in a video um but you've you've taught me a lot about what it looks like to follow christ and and so i'm really thankful for that um and I just think about the legacy that you're going to leave at Covenant and Sharon. Um, man, the guys that have seen uh, a, a picture of who Jesus is through you. Um, man, it's, it's going to be tough to count. Jeff, hey man. I just wanted to say it's been a true blessing uh, just getting to room with you the past couple of years. 
uh, from playing softball in the backyard, doing agility drills, and um, learning how to cook or trying to cook. Um, just I've enjoyed that so much. Um, but what I what I cherish the most is just all our conversations that we've had. Um, you're a friend that's willing to talk about the really tough things, and I really appreciate that, man. And um, just our conversations about the Lord and just seeing how much you love the Lord has really helped me grow. And, um, man, I'm going to miss you, um, but I know the Lord's got plans for you. And um, I love you, man. Yo, Big Jeff. First of all, man, I just want to say how much I really, I truly appreciate you. You know, over the years, you've been a big brother than me. You know, you just you came into my life, man, and you molded me to something great. You added a part of something great to me, and um, I really appreciate that, man. And you know, just the experience that I got to experience with you and the leaders, man, it was it it, it means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just want to say to you, man, on your journey, man, stay focused on the task ahead. I love you, brother, wherever you go. Stay away from the chili beans and uh, keep God first. All right, brother, stay safe. Hi, Jeff. I just want to say thank you so much for all your years of dedication to Sharon. Um, you have been such an inspiration to me and I know our whole team. Um, you always have such wise suggestions um, and you just love so much and our team is literally going to miss you like so much. We love you. Hey Jeff, congratulations on going to seminary. I remember the first time I met you, you were leading in Sharon. We were both at Timberwolf Lake the summer of 2011. So we were going on nine years. Um, you went from leader to mentor, co-leader, friend, um, program partner. <laughs> We've done a lot of ministry together and I know that the ministry I have done and continue to do has been strongly impacted by our relationship in the way that I've seen you do ministry. Um, I know that it is hard to leave a place you've been in for so long but I'm encouraged by what you're pursuing with seminary. And I know that the Lord is going to use you to impact the lives of so many other people and ministers of the gospel that people will know Jesus differently because of you and the way that you love Jesus. Um, and I know that that is very true for so many people who have come through Sharon, whether kids, leaders, community members, um, you are so great at bringing people together to love Jesus. And I thank you for that. I thank you for the way that you've impacted my walk with seminary um, and reading the Bible. And I'm really excited for you that you're getting to pursue that full time and for the impact um, and the potential that you have for the Lord to use you in ways that you don't even know yet. So congratulations. Sharon will miss you. I already miss you. Um, thanks for all you've done. Hey Jeff, just want to say thank you very much for everything that you've done um, these past years here in Sharon and surrounding area at Covenant and with Young Life. Um, you've been an inspiration and an example for me. I've learned so much from you and I enjoy laughing together and of course debating some good old reformed theology. Hey Jeff, just wanted to say congratulations on the move back to North Carolina and just uh, say how much of a pleasure it was to get to lead with you um, and share in Young Life um, just to get to see just what an amazing example of what it is to just follow God and just be a servant of his and just to really give yourself to other people. I uh, wish you the best, buddy, and love you. I hope I get to see you soon. Hey, Jeff. Uh, I just want to tell you that I appreciate everything that you've done for me personally, um, for my family, you know, being friends with my two little baby boys here, um, befriending myself and my wife, inviting us to kickball, winning championships. Um, we're going to miss you, especially on the softball field, but me personally, just going to miss you know, having those little conversations with you. I hope you do well in Mr. School. Hope you can come back and see us again. And uh, we'll see you next time, bud, okay? Love you and miss you. Hey, Jeff. Um, just wanted to say that I'm going to miss you, dude. Uh, you've taught me so much these past, like, seven years. I don't know if I call you my mentor, my friend, my brother. But just know that I'm so grateful to have met you. And 
I love you, man. Jeffrey, on behalf of Diane and I, we just wish to simply state congratulations on this next awesome step that the Lord has you on, on this mighty journey. Jeff, it's been 10 and a half years since Diane and I first met you. Uh, you were a sophomore at Grove City College. Uh, you had given up your basketball career uh, to do Young Life, and you were assigned to the Sharon team. And that's when we first had the opportunity to meet you. Uh, it's been a pleasure to watch the Lord work in and through you these last 10 and a half years. And uh, you have matured mightily. Uh, you have had a tremendous positive impact on so many young men and, and, and kids within our area here. Uh, it's a true praise, a praise to the Lord. One little story that gives a glimpse into who you are and that would be probably either the first or second year uh, that you and your team from Young Life were taking a group of kids to a camp uh, from, from Sharon. Uh, the bus was going to be leaving early uh, that next morning. Uh, so you guys, you and your whole team from Young Life, uh, spent the night at our home. And uh, in the middle of the night, it's what it seemed like. It was probably was 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning. I hear this ruckus down in the foyer. So I get up and walk down to the foyer, and there I see you fully dressed. This is probably at least two hours, if not three hours before the bus was going to be leaving. Fully dressed with your backpack on, walking in circles, talking to yourself about how excited you were going to be to take these young men to camp so they may be drawn closer to the Lord. It was such a sight to be seen, but that's the enthusiasm that you have. And so, Jeffrey, it's just been an absolute pleasure, and we look forward to seeing how the Lord's going to be working in and through you in the years ahead. God bless.